Yeah, we bought it in August and then it arrived sort of September time. The time cycle, they can come off pretty fast. You can't check everyone, but we've been checking them and they haven't moved. So the dimensions, the inner dimensions, the outer dimensions, they all say really well. It kept it to within a 0.025, so a thousandth of a millimetre, which was, it really impressed us, to be honest. We're here at Artern Engineering, turning specialist based in rugby. They have just invested in a Hanoi sliding head machine from Dugard. Three and a half ton machine, 32 to 38 diameter, um, 26 tools. Why did you go for this machine? Just Mike? mainly because you can go up to 38 mil on a sliding head, which in my opinion, which is pretty impressive, especially when it ranges from 32 to 38. You've got quite a broad diameter we can go towards, so it, it expanded our diameter, what we could machine from. We're going to look at some parts in a moment, but first, as an operator, what works really well for you? I think just the, the, the machine itself really is, it's a, it's a good machine. Uh, where the tools are, it's easily accessible. Where the power tools are on this machine, I could find it easy to get to them. They're quite accessible, changing them over. It's just, yeah, just a good machine. And you quite like the programming on this, isn't yes. it? It's a bit yeah, different. Yeah. It's yeah, kind I of think broadened it's, your horizons. Yeah, and... it's, it's broadened my knowledge on programming side of it because a lot of the MCOs are more like a, a normal fixed head, like a, a fixed head machine. So then when I've come onto this one, it's brought in my knowledge on the program inside the M codes and G codes and stuff, just to get more sort of confident with it. And it's brought in my knowledge of what I need to learn and what I didn't know, and now I know it. And tool life. There's been something that's impressed you with the tool life here yes, too. Yes, the tool life. The, the coolant flow on this machine is really good. <clears throat> the fact it's got a load of pipes on there, you can move them about, and the flow of it's really good, so that helps the tip wear. So it's not getting warm, it's not warming up the insert, it's not breaking the insert is quick the coolant flow is as it says cooling it down so yeah and the filter yeah. mist as well because you said that's really yeah for, it's for the atmosphere the filter mist on this is really good so when it's all in the machine while i'm cutting the material and the coolant's cooling it down that you go straight up into the filter mist and i'm not breathing it in it's not coming in the atmosphere it's really good so as a user you're enjoying using it yeah definitely yeah it came with, so from Dugard, they provided the whole package essentially. So you've also got the bar feed and you're impressed by this too. Yeah, we've got the LNS bar feed, which I think the user face of it is very user friendly. <coughs> it's a lot more simpler. You just press two buttons, it loads a bar straight in and pushes it straight through the machine. It tells you exactly how much bar, bar it's got left, plus how many parts you've got left while you're machining, which helps when you want to do, because we do quite like sort of mid to high volume here. So like 5,000 to, no, 500, sorry, to anything up to 50,000 plus if you wanted to. But while I'm running that, it's good to know if I've got X amount of bars left, it says how much parts I've got left also yeah. out of that one bar. So it's good to see that as, a, <clears throat> as an operator, it's good to see, oh, I might run out of bar, I need to get some more because I've only got X amount of parts left on I it. guess for like scheduling and planning in the yeah, future yeah. as well for ordering materials and yeah. everything. Yeah, definitely. Talking about materials, what materials are you putting on here? Hey, we've done some various materials from sort of EM18 mild steel to 316 stainless, which, which, which this was part was. Which this one, it's not the most complex job, but it's got a big bore in the middle there. And then we were using sort of like a, not a smaller job, we had to bore out quite a lot. And the, the machine, it ran it non-stop. It was just running and running. It really impressed us how well it ran the parts. And when we were running previously, we were doing them two flats on the milling side. Yeah. But this machine has took out two ops. So it made it a lot more easier. Then they could just go straight out to the customer and then they were all happy with them. And they, it kept the tolerance really well while running the whole job. It kept it to within a 0.025, so a thousandth of a millimetre, which was, it really impressed us, to be honest. So overall, to everyone watching, what would you say this machine does really well then? Um, <clears throat> I mean, it machines the parts really well. It, like I said, it holds the tolerances really well. It hardly doesn't move. The coolant flow is obviously really good on it, so it helps the tool life. Um, the tool stations are really good, like I said, with the power tools where they are. And the fact you can go from range from 32 to 38 mil, which is quite a broad horizon really, from that diameter. Yeah. And on a sliding head of 38 mil, it's quite big. And then it, it holds it really well. 
So the machine is supplied by Dugard here in the UK and service, how's that been? Service has been really good, like, get the number off the application engineer, come out to me and uh, ring him up and say oh, I've got this problem, we get through it together and also what I forgot about the machine as well, what I really like about it is the stroke in head one, so when I'm turning I can turn up to, I'm, correct me, I might be able to do some research but it's about 380 mil which kind of broadens our, the, what we can machine. So and some of them I've worked on before are only like say 180, 200, but then you get another 180 mil on top of that. So if I'm turning a big long shaft, yeah. it, I can turn it all the way 380 mil with no problem. And it, with a guide bus, it stays parallel as well. So it's not oval, it's not coming up and down, no high spots, it turns it pretty straight. And a 380 mil is pretty long considering yeah. it's a sliding head. Definitely. And it does it really well. You know, you bought this for capacity and it's certainly uh, fulfilling all of your wishes yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm.